Hello, everyone. My research deals with the curious mix of penguins and statistics. If you're a cute little penguin, you have about a 20% chance of surviving your first year, and then about an 80% chance of surviving each year after that, till you're about 11. You start a family when you're about three, and you'll have to make sure you bring dinner home regularly, or your family will run away, or worse still, starve to death. You have unpredictable weather, predators, unpredictable food supply to contend with, and researchers are really, really interested to know how you cope. Why? Because you are a top predator, and what happens to you gives us a window into what is happening to our marine ecosystems as it's trying to cope with a changing climate. And this is where the statistics comes in. It is the tool I use to extract amazing life stories from penguin data. I use a truly remarkable data set from Phillip Island in Victoria of 54 and a half thousand little penguins. And I use a probability-based statistical tool called the method of maximum likelihood and I model penguin survival with climate and ocean variables. The techniques I use are novel, and I can now model survival for any wildlife species. So, some penguin results. Well, rising temperatures and strong wind events do affect penguin survival. We kind of expected that, but what we didn't expect is, first of all, it absolutely matters what time of year these events happen. And secondly, these events don't actually always have a detrimental effect. The effect can be beneficial as well. And third, and most intriguing, there happens to be some evidence of a lag effect. For example, strong winds blowing in the winter before the breeding season have a positive effect on chick survival after they're hatched the following year. Hmm. Well, a possible mechanism is that the winds blow food into the feeding grounds and the parents are healthier and so they can have healthier chicks. And there is so much more to look at. Air temperature, rainfall, patterns of current, ice melting thousands of kilometers away, and most importantly, marine productivity because it tells us how much food is available. So, the curious mix of penguins and statistics can teach us so much about our cherished marine environment. And these guys, well, let's hope they're off for wild adventures in a healthy environment, because there is no doubt. If their environment is healthy, so is our planet. Thank you.